This is a very special TFC Insider brought to you by the all new Kia Telluride. I am Gareth Wheeler and look who it is. It's the head coach of Toronto FC, Greg Vanny. This is a good time to catch up, Greg. Great. 15 games into the season, almost at the midway point. It's been a rather strange start to the season. The schedule went from start, stop, start, stop. The weather, I guess it's finally turned. Yeah. Summer is here, Greg. Uh, what are your impressions on the way that the year has gone thus far for you? Yeah, just as you had mentioned, it's, uh, it's been up and down. Um, obviously, I go back to always at the very start of the year. Uh, we have some turnover in the roster, not insignificant people who, uh, who are now out of the roster, bringing new guys in, Pozuelo, trying to continue to transition what we're doing. Uh, meanwhile, we go into a Champions League. Uh, we were in and out of that pretty quickly, but um, got some guys, I think some opportunities, some young players we were able to look at. Got off to a great start uh in the in the season i knew our start um probably we probably weren't ready to be supporter shield contender so i knew we were off to a good start and we were going to utilize those points along the way but then we obviously we hit a little bit of a dip but i think through some of the dip we've actually played pretty well haven't taken points that you know maybe we should have gotten out of it uh, i heard yesterday that we're third in the league in terms of shots on goal which you know we're creating opportunities which is kind of my dialogue i keep saying but we've got to We've got to find a way to turn those opportunities into goals. And, um, and we only gave up eight shots in, on goal in our last three games, and three of those were PK. So some of the, some of the signs are starting to show uh, the right trends. Now we need to transition that into points. Alejandro Pozuelo is obviously a big storyline over the course of this early season. Comes to this club, reputation, people are looking forward to seeing what he's all about. Five goals, eight assists in just 12 games. What has impressed you the most about Pozuelo and the initial impression he's left on you in the group? I think his, his ability to impact the game in the moment, I think, is um, what we had hoped for. Uh, he, he's got such good vision. He's got good passing. Obviously, it's well noted. He can do different things with each foot. And, uh, but he's shown that he can, he can change a game in a flash. Uh, I think he's gone through a stretch where he came in really hot and the adrenaline was, was high and had a great start. I do think you go through a normal sort of settling in period when you're trying to find a house, you're, lots of things are going on, you're trying to bring your family over, you're running hot because you've played an entire season before. Uh, and I think, you know, this last stretch of games, he started to come back out of that and, and again, showing his capacity to, to turn a game quickly. So I think this couple of weeks, he's, we've given him a little bit of a break. I think he'll come back fresh and uh, ready for the second half of the season. Through all that, Greg, there's been some real entertaining matches and some really good moments over the course of this early season. Is, is there one moment or one positive that stands out above the rest for you? Well, I think um, I, I stay in sort of the short term, but the biggest and the most interesting moment, I think, was probably New York City. The goals that uh, Pozuelo scored, his integration into the team. Uh, sort of, we had everybody on the field that day. We, we were kind of clicking in all cylinders. That, for me, was sort of the high point of the season. I think we've obviously gone through a tough stretch, and I think just the resiliency that the group has shown over the last two games is uh, is important. We, you know, we took tough goals in the in the last couple of games late, and we were able to battle back and and get the equalizers out of those. So, uh, in a long season, I think there's always like different facets of the season that. Um, where you see different parts of your team that are important. And, you know, this, this resiliency in the last part was very important. I think we saw a little bit of the level that we're continuing to try to, to get back towards with everybody healthy. 2016 was an awesome season. I think a lot of supporters out there are hoping that it looks a lot like 2017, yeah. a season which ended in an MLS Cup championship. Sure. I mean, this was, what, 18 months ago? It wasn't that long ago, Greg. When you were on top of the open air double decker bus celebrating a victory in a parade, much like we experienced with the Toronto Raptors this week, when you were watching the Raptors celebrate, were you kind of recollecting, remembering, and taking in your own experiences being on top of the double decker bus and having that parade? Yeah, it, it's uh, just the whole process, the whole run that they had through uh, through the playoffs. It's hard not to to find some similarities with, within their team or to see some similarities in terms of the, the emotion and the fan response and uh, even some of the language that you can hear the players using about uh, their process and uh, one play at a time and a lot of these things that are, that are very similar. I think if you listen to any team that is championship uh, bound or quality, uh, you, you start to feel and, and recognize some of those similarities. 
for sure, with there on the bus to celebration, I actually looked and said, those guys are a lot taller than our guys. They, they better <laughs> duck when they go under the bridges because I know our guys were having to duck. So there, there was a lot of things uh, that, that we remember. We want to remember them enough that we can recall those feelings and, and try to battle ourselves back into, into that kind of position. So we feel like it's, it's our turn to try to, uh, to answer, uh, and our guys are working hard to get there. Greg, thank you for doing this. Uh, Best of luck over the course of the second half of the season. Thank you. Greg Vanny in Toronto FC will be in Dallas to take on FC Dallas this Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time.